they have this assumption, one, they carry a highly inflated sense of self-righteousness in spite of the extreme ignorance about public policy. They say they're going to build institutions. Hold a second, Simon. They have never even built a village institutions. Now they say they want to build state institutions. That's one. They have a highly inflated sense of self-righteousness that their position is so morally upright, so self-evidently godly that everybody should go with them. And that's where my disagreement begins. In fact, I speak always as your consultant to help you understand your up against a formidable political animal. To dislodge him seven requires a lot of thinking, and you need to read him back and forth. Because you will, if you read him and both his actions and writings and speeches, you will see a common theme in his actions, speeches, and writings. For them, they believe in chasing our people. FDC, in this election, has already chased away 10 members of parliament by refusing to give them forms, the Nabilas. Instead of trying to win them over, reconcile them internally, they chase them away. People power has not yet had time. Nope. I can tell you by the time we reach 2026, it will be shrinking slowly, like the way FDC has been shrinking. I told you at the beginning, FDC started with a large mass of political leaders. It started shrinking. If Noop does not listen to me, take it from me. I'm not a supporter of Museven, but I find Museven, I can work and deal with Museven. I can work with Museven without working for him. I can, I can deal with Museven without being, I can compromise with Museven without him compromising me. Because he's a tolerant person. That is why, Many leaders of the opposition, the Betkanias and others, are going back to him because he's easy to work with. These ones are too extreme, too self-righteous, with an inflated ego. First of all, they're pseudo-democrats. Because if you have a democrat, the first thing about a democracy is compromise. For them, they see compromise as surrender. They see accommodation as dilution, that you are diluting your purity. These are groups that can only cannibalize each other because they don't know how to reach out to those who disagree. I have stated it here, not once, not twice, on this television called NBS, in my writings. I don't support him seven, but I deal with him. Okay. And, and therefore, and therefore, I could be an important asset, even articulating their vision. But they have never come to me to say they think they need me. They say, you are seven supporter. You know why? Because I disagree with them. You, they have created two positions in the whole of Uganda. You are either with them or you are with Museven. Now, Museven has created the, the counter narrative. Museven, you are either against him or you are with him. So for as long as you're not actively fighting him, he'll reach out to you. I was telling you, the air in their camp is suffocating. Mm. It is, they want to turn Ugandans into uh, uh, worker bees in a hive or red ants where you are programmed to work without any question, bow to his holiness, Pope, Bobby Wine, Cardinal, jo Joel Serunjoji. Joel Senyonyi. Please, Senyonyi is there. Let me drive to the place here and come watch if I come back alive, take all my inheritance. Okay. Do, do you see? Oh, no. the, the, let, hold, let, wait, hold a second. So I'm trying to show you the two groups. Sanyonyi, can, please, let me, I want you to be honest, uh, uh, Solomon. Can Andrew Mwenda drive to their head office there and they come out alive? Those young people, they have mobilized around there with high on weed and Mwenda cocaine. The, the okay. Uh, please, let, 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 get please, out Andrew, get thanks, out thanks for your views. Thanks. This group, let thanks. me tell you, this group thanks. is the most uncouth, intolerant and, single and, group and, 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 to have.